Hello guys, welcome to the channel The Excellent Hacker. Today I'm going to solve the box Tom Ghost from Try Hack Me. Before getting into the walkthrough, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So I'm in the site tryhackme.com and join this room Tom Ghost. I've also deployed the box and here is our IP. So let's start the walkthrough with running an map scan. Okay, to run an map scan, the steps to do and map dash sv to run uh, the enumerated version dash sc to run default scripts okay then motions ip so set enter okay just wait for the scan to complete i've already done it so just i'm going to get the output of that scan so you can see how that four ports are open Port 22, port 53, port 8009, and port 8080. Okay, let's check this port 8080 first. So I don't think there is anything important in this space. And Apache Tomcat is not just configured in this box. Okay, let's first source through Google and source if there are any exploit or not. So our Apache JSR is also present in this box in port 8009. Let's source in Google for any if there are any exploit present or not. Tomcat. 9.0.30 Explosion Okay, there is one remote code execution exploit. Let's check it. So, JSP upload bypass remote code execution. Okay, it's not the correct one as our version is 9.0.3. Okay, let's just add this AZP13 Apache JSR also. Okay, there is an exploit named Ghost Cat. It kind of matches with a box named Tom Ghost. So let me first find the exploit for it. So what is our CV number? CV 2020-1938. Okay. Let's check it in exploit DB if there are exploits presented it or not. So ghost cat file read or file inclusion so it kind of read the file let's first download it in our box so i'm going to use duplicate okay just copy the download link let's download it using duplicate So it's a Python exploit. So let's check what it does first. So we need to provide these three arguments, both number, file and target. So this file is the file which we are going to read. Let's check if there are any other stuff in exploit TV page or not there's nothing more in here so okay I kind of sorts around a little bit and found this github page so it's a bunch of some Chinese text 
and this CNVD 2020 thousand ten thousand four eighty seven. So it's some sort of uh, notation in China for this exploit number 2029 and here I found that my eye catches this file name web inf slash web dot xml file. So let's, let's try to read this file web dot xml. Okay, let's use this exploit python. Oh. Wait one four three dash p port get zero zero nine. So file is web dash inf slash web dot xml web dot xml. Okay, I forget to give us slash in here. So what's our target? Let's copy the IP. Okay, kind of read that web.xml file and so there is a message name welcome to ghost cat and some sort of credentials. So username is skyfuck and there's a password too. So kind of found out that there is an SSH port open. Okay, let's try to log in into the SSH. So it's our username and must sense IP okay. okay let's copy the password okay now we got inside the box okay, let's try to get the user flag first okay there are two user Marlin let's see if we can List your directories inside Marlin or not. Okay, there are two files this credential.pzp and tryhacking.asc. Okay, so this credential.pzp, this pzp extension is for some sort of encryption mechanism. Okay, let me first try to decrypt. <laughs> These files and this tryhackme.asc is key for the decryption. Let me copy those files in my uh, paragraphs first. So let's check there is Python in here or not. So got the Python free. Okay, let me set up a port on um, it, 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 it. Okay, then let's transfer this both file to our parrot. Slash. I forget to give the port number 8888. Okay, now let's download next file. Okay, I successfully downloaded both the files this credentials.pzv and tryhackman.asc in my box. Okay, you can see how that there are two files credential.pzp and tryhackman.asc. So, this .pzp is an encryption format, so this credential file is encrypted in some sort. And this tryhackman.asc, so this .asc is an encryption key. So, to decrypt this .pzp file, we need two things. First one is 
destroy hackme.asc and second one is we need a passphrase so that passphrase is here to use to again make our key usable so we need to apply the passphrase in this hackme.asc file so to get the passphrase we need to kind of brute force this try hackme.asc file key file so we can easily use zone the report to brute force this try hackme.asc file for but before that we need to convert this uh, .asc file to brute forceable form so to convert this try hackme.asc file to hash format we are going to use a script which is pre-installed with zone the repo its name is zpz to zone so what it does is just convert this try hackme.asc to brute forceable hash format okay so let me out file is it so i'm going to out file it is has so i'm going to name it has so let me get that file so here is our has that we need to crack okay now let's use zone the report to crack this has file so i'm going to use rocky.txt as a word list okay let me show you how to crack this has okay to do that just type zone and give the has name that's just word list to specify the word list so i'm going to use user share word list and rocky.txt okay let's hit enter and let's start the cracking process okay now it immediately found the password and it's alexand alexand are you i don't know how to pronounce it so it kind of found the password a passphrase for this key file so now let's get to the next part on how to actually um, decode or decrypt this dot pgp file with key file and passphrase so we got both key file and passphrase okay let's try decoding this dot pgp file so you can use two commands gpg or pgp gpg for graphical interface and pgp is for terminal interface so i'm going to use gpg okay gpg then let's import the key using dash dash import so this will import our key so keys name is trihackme.asc okay let's hit enter okay so secret key imported this message prompt up so now we imported this key also now let's get into cracking path so to do that just type gpg and dash dash decrypt then this pgp or decrypted file name is credentials.gpg let's hit enter okay so this sort of windows pop up and it asks for passphrase so what was the passphrase that we found it was a l a a l e x a n d r e u you can see here that's the passphrase and zone the report cracked okay, let's hit enter okay now it's successfully decoded and gave us the credentials that were hidden inside this credentials.pgp file okay now we got our username and password let's try to log in inside it using ssh now then at the red so what's our machine's ip let's copy it let's paste this password it's pretty long okay now we are inside another user named Marlin. okay so there is our root flag also let's cat it so we got our root flag okay now let's get to privilege escalation path so for privilege escalation what I like to do is for sake for any scripts or programs with sudo writes and also source for files with SUAD bits enabled. Okay, let's start with for seeking with uh, files with sudo writes. To do that, just type sudo l. Okay, now we kind uh, kind of can use this zip file with sudo. Okay, now so to okay now to escalate privilege using sudo and zip. 
we are going to create a new zip file and we are going to test the integrity of um, that new zip file that we created using the flag dash t so during testing the integrity by using flag dash t we are actually not going to use on zip command to test that integrity rather than we are going to use our own command so let me show you how to do that or what i meant actually so let me go to temp directory first okay now let's run this zip file okay, now i'm just going to name anything so so zip file name maybe any string okay after that just i'm going to use this pss wg file to zip okay after so this command will only create a zip file now giving dash capital t flag will just test for integrity of the zip file that this command created and again giving this dash tt will specify method for checking the integrity so we are going to use our own method and our method will be to use sh okay so this is the command that we pass to check the integrity so when you hit enter we probably should get our cell okay now we kind of got our cell and we are a root user you can see here that we successfully escalated the privilege in the box okay now let's get the root flag okay we got our root flag also so it says that zip is fake so that's the method that we use to escalate the privilege okay now we successfully completed the box okay this was in this video hope to see you in next one and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon okay bye